So it's been a while since I last blogged and judging by the big smile that you can see on my face, yes, I have met Peter Facinelli and oh my god <laughs> is basically what I want to say. Um, he is absolutely lovely. He is so kind, so generous and just so warm. Um, such a such a wonderful person. Um, really there's not enough words to describe how amazing he actually is because he he just is. He's he's just awesome. Um and in instead of me thinking what well, usually I've met a couple of celebrities that I've really liked before and usually, you know, I meet them and kind of my bubble bursts a bit, you know. Um Um I met Anthony Stewart Head from Buffy actually, who plays Giles, um, um, a while ago in Manchester and he was lovely, really nice and everything but my bubble kind of burst, like he nothing, he didn't do anything wrong, it was just I'd met him and then I just felt disappointed and I don't know why, I don't know why. I only saw him for like two minutes and, and it was on a signing thing um, when he was just signing autographs and you just got to chat to him for like two minutes um, and he didn't and he did a talk and everything and that was great but compared and and again I say it's not a, not any of his fault I just felt you know my expectations were higher than they should have been I suppose but that's not dissing him because he is a lovely guy um, he is really nice but my experience with Peter Facinelli was so much better and instead of, you know, I, I feel like I've done this with Anthony in a way, I'm not as into him as I was, but with Peter, um, I absolutely love him more, if that's possible. I love him to death. <laughs> um, I, I thought I was bad before I met him. I'm even worse after I've met him um, because he is just the most just sweetest, kindest, warm person in the world and he has this amazing ability to make you feel like you're the only person in the world that he's talking to. He is just, he really listens to what his fans have to say to him and he appreciates every one of his fans. He is that awesome. So. I am going to tell you a bit about my experiences at Eternal Twilight 8. Um, I have got, well I've got loads to say really, but whether I can fit it all into this blog is a different story. Um, and sometimes I find it really hard to actually speak out loud um, exactly what these experiences mean to me. I find sometimes it's better to write it down. I wrote an open letter to Peter on my Tumblr. Uh, I don't know if anyone has read that, but that sh that tells you a bit about what actually happens um, at Eternal Twilight Eight with Peter. So if anyone wants to read that, um, I'm as I am as the snow falls on Tumblr. So if anyone wants to find me out on that, check it out. Um, so yeah, I got the bo I boarded the train to Birmingham on Friday. Friday the 12th of October. I was a little nervous, I have to be said, because I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, I was going to meet my, I was going to meet some of my Twitter friends, and I was sharing a room with Fiona Rhiannon, who, uh, that's her Twitter handle, hope she doesn't mind me saying this. Um, so I was going out to meet her, so we were sharing a room together, and God, when we got together, it was, fight, it was so fun to talk to someone who loves Peter just as much as I do because I've had to keep it quiet for uh, an extraordinary amount of time like uh, some of my my friends my friends like that don't like Peter or are just not into Twilight would just take would just not get it so it was amazing to be able to talk to someone who felt exactly the same way I did so once we were up there I met I met Fiona and I met a few others from Twitter as well um, which is really, which was cool, and I made some great friends over the weekends, um, and I'll give them all a shout out later. <laughs> um, so we got into our room. We checked into our room, which is a built Hilton Metropole. It was it's a nice room actually. Uh, it was a nice room. It was large and spacious, and we had our own balcony, which <laughs> probably 
wasn't the wisest idea, especially when, you know, we, Fiona and I had a few, fair few bottles of wine in our suitcases. So, you know, probably not the best idea, but hey ho. <laughs> um, so we, we got into our room, we, well, first of all, we checked in at registration. Fiona got a gold pack, I got my silver pack. That was all pretty, that was all pretty organised quite well. I found, and it was helpful. There were people there to help me out, so that was good. Um, so we went into our room, checked her, got, um, got, oh my god, uh, got into our room and what happened, first of all, we just unpacked and everything and we thought, should we have a glass of wine? Yeah, let's have a glass of wine. So we did and we talked about Peter and before you know it, it was about half past four in the afternoon and Fiona and I were completely pissed, really pissed. Um, we were I we were hanging off the balcony. And I remember screaming something like, "Oh my god!" There was a Mercedes, a black Mercedes, outside the hotel, and I remember going out onto the balcony, really pissed, shouting, "That's Carlisle's car! You can't drive Carlisle's car!" Um, god knows why I did that, but it was like at the time, I was like too. I was overexcited about meeting Pierre. And I tweeted him, Hi, PD! <laughs> and I wish I hadn't. Because apparently Peter does read all of his tweets. He has said that he does. So he will have seen that. And boy, that is not something I wanted him to see. Oh dear. <laughs> um, but we, so we got drunk. And then we went off to meet Claire, Black Raven of Poe. And we went up to the exact lounge in um in the, in the Hilton and um, we proceeded just to get more drunk from there on Friday um it was just you know incredible because we just proceeded to get wasted and <laughs> oh gosh um oh god how do I uh, Daniel Cudmore came into the exact lounge as did Jill Birmingham well they were both standing in the corner and they were having a nice chat and Jill's girlfriend Kim who by the way is just amazing she's so so lovely um so i think i think most of us fangirled over her all weekend because she was just awesome uh, anyway they were there and fiona and i said oh let's go over and chat to them <laughs> so we left where we were sitting and we went over and drunkenly tw uh, drunkenly talked to them <laughs> and they were really nice about it. they were really great and everything but you could tell we were drunk and we said to them we we're really drunk um and Fiona's got a picture of me talking to Daniel Cudmore, looking wasted. <laughs> um, and Kayoa joined us. And also, um, I think Tyson eventually came in. I can't remember. And also Justin, which was pretty cool. Um, I, I think I said to him, I think I said to Justin, you're a legend. <laughs> and, well, <laughs> oh gosh, that was... Well, that was hilarious because <laughs> I was really drunk. Um, so that conversation, that that conversation, kind of set ourselves up for having a bit of a reputation as the drunk girls all weekend. Um, <laughs> uh, Jill and Daniel pretty much um, <laughs> they were laughing at us. But they, I think they enjoyed it, and I don't think we were harassing them too much. I don't, no, we weren't harassing them at all. We were just having conversations, and we were just really out of it. But it was brilliant. It was so fun, and they're all such lovely people. It was just amazing to talk to like the Twilight cast, and just you know, in a normal setting. And it was just like, wow, I'm actually really talking to these people. Um, but anyway, that com that sort of little event kind of built us like I said built us up a bit of a reputation as the drunk girls I mean and Peter uh, as right Peter Facinelli uh, heard about it and he wasn't even there on Friday night he was not there he said to Fiona I heard you had some fun last night with some wine oh god Peter heard oh could you, if we didn't if we if we weren't dead then we certainly weren't that, at that point oh my god um, <laughs> so yeah, we built a reputation with, with all the Twilight guests that we were drunk, uh, <laughs> drunk girls. 
But anyway, Friday night was hugely fun. Um, they had the Renesmee's birthday party and Fiona and I were just completely wasted. Just danced all night and got pissed. Um, <laughs> so, you know, that was, that, was be- that was the best fun we could ever have, really. <laughs> Saturday morning, oh, I felt like shit. <laughs> I really did. God, I felt like hell. death warmed up. I, I drank so much and I was just like, oh, God. I mean, we stood out there hungover and it was just uh, and then Facinelli's girl and Vansinelli walked out <laughs> hi guys <laughs> and so Michaela and Daniela um they came out and we chatted to them and I oh, met especially those two they're so lovely people and I hope they're my fellow Fancinellis and they were so lovely um it was so lovely to meet them finally um so you know I, I really enjoyed that I mean, I'm I'm finding it difficult to put into words how much meeting all these people meant to me because it was, it was great, and I, I really hope that we can all be friends for a long, long time. Yeah. So anyway, they came out on Saturday morning while we were all having um, a smoke in that, and we all just kind of oh, really hung over. I feel like rubbish. <laughs> um, Fiona had her photo shoot with like her signing and photo shoot with Peter on the Saturday. I had mine on the Sunday. Um, but um, on the Saturday I had like Kiowa's photo shoot and other stuff to do and that was all that was all really fun and stuff so I'm going to skip most of what Saturday because I kind of want to get to the healer bits <laughs> but at the same time um, god I, I don't know my phone's just gone off so I'm now distracted of what to say um I Saturday was fun. I really enjoyed Saturday morning was fun. I enjoyed Kiowa. Uh, when I went up to Kiowa's signing, he recognised me from last night and he said, "Did you have fun last night?" And I was like, "Oh gosh, oh no! How can he remember?" Um, turns out he wasn't the only guest that remembered that. Okay, um, <laughs> and what else am I gonna say? Oh, shit. Um, what else? Oh, God. Do you know what? It's all such a blur. I don't really remember. But I remember getting... I don't remember much about stuff that's... No, actually, I do. I'm just too excited. Um, I... So, I went to get Kiowa's science uh, photo shoot and I went to get some signings from Justin and Daniel. Um, and again, Daniel said, did you have fun last night? And he goes, hi, did you have fun? <laughs> I was just like, shit. How did you do this? Um, and so that was all fun. Um, then, you know, Fiona had an amazing experience with Peter. Um, you should check out her Twitter or her Tumblr because she'll tell you all about that. I mean, he was such he's such a sweetheart, Peter. Um, and he gave her a wave and uh, the signings. And it was... Oh, he's just blessing me so lovely. Um, so if Saturday afternoon, like, we were sort of we went into Peter's talk yeah at five o'clock we were going into Peter's talk um and because Peter was going to give us a talk and bless him Peter was really kind of tired and quite jet lagged because obviously he'd just flown over from like the USA like literally he'd got in like early Saturday morning so god he, I can't imagine how tired he must have been but he looked amazing he was wearing a leather jacket and jeans and he and his sunglasses and wow he looked fantastic um and he, and Peter's talk was incredible Peter's talk was so so funny and fantastic um he talked about twilight obviously um <clears throat> he talked about Lucy's as well um, and he asked how many people had seen it, and there were only like me, Fiona, and a few, and like two others who'd actually seen it. Probably my fellow Fancinellos who'd seen it, um, because it's not actually out in the UK yet on DVD, so we'd seen it. Um, and uh, Peter, <laughs> Peter teased Fiona, saying, "Is is his Fio- is the because Fiona had done a review for Peter about Lucy's. Well, it wasn't for Peter; it's for a newspaper, but." Peter wanted to read it, and he teased her. He said, "Is it not good?" 
<laughs> we'll <laughs> she's um you gotta tweet me about it is it not good <laughs> and it was funny because she it is very good and he goes we'll talk <laughs> and it made me laugh um i was the final question to ask to ask peter on the on the saturday talk I asked him how did it feel to portray Eric Weinmayer in Touch the Top of the World because I love that movie and I think and, and I thought he was amazing in it and Peter's response was brilliant he gave me a really detailed long answer um, and I think he was really pleased that somebody asked him something about his other work aside from Twilight because I think that means something to him I mean yeah he's there for the Twilight stuff and everything but he really really does lot i think he really appreciates it more when you know people ask him about other stuff as well so he gave me a really fantastic answer and it was one that i won't forget so easily he talked about how to wear special contacts because obviously eric weinmayer is blind um and he wore special contacts and he spent time with eric to sort of getting to know him and everything like that and it was just fascinating if there's a dvd of eta i, I hope there is because i really want like or at least a recording of it because of that talk because that that question was so fun the answer he gave was so fantastic and i wish people could hear it um so the talk was fantastic we loved it it was just incredible um and afterwards me fiona um me fiona michaela and daniela went outside um and, uh, fiona wanted to have a, a a smoke and that and who should be her hiding behind the corner but the one and only Peter Facinelli. Uh, he was with his guard and he was with um, one of the crew members of ET8. And um, we didn't approach him. Um, we just left him to have his cigarette uh, in peace because we felt that that was important. You know, he needs to have his privacy. Um, so we just sat and chatted on the streets. Sat and, so we sat down on the, on, the, on the pavement and we just chatted. Um, and Peter then approached us and just started talking to us and it was amazing. He mentioned my shirt, he loved it. He loved my shirt. Um, this is the shirt that I was wearing on that day. Um, he really loved it. Um, and uh, I'm so glad he loved it because he kept looking at it pretty much the whole weekend. Um, and... So it was incredible because the next moment, for anyone who follows Peter's Twitter or his Instagram, um, he did a photo, he suggested doing a photo with me, Michaela and Fiona, um, like the Beatles cover, Abbey Road. <laughs> he did this with us and it was fantastic. Um, I think he told Fiona to take her shoes off because she's Paul McCartney. She was supposed to be Paul McCartney, but actually, it should have been Peter because Peter was in the position for Paul McCartney, so he should have done it. Um, and it was fantastic. So if anyone's actually seen that shot on Peter's Twitter or Instagram, that's the one. I'm the one who I'm the one in the middle, just before Peter. So yeah, that's me, the tall one in the black t-shirt. <laughs> I words can't describe that moment because we had such fun doing it and it was such fun creating it. Even Stuart laughed. Stuart's the wonderful guy from Showmasters. He was Peter's guard. He is lovely, so he was awesome to us. Really nice. Um, and he laughed at us and he just it was brilliant. Um, and we talked to Peter a lot and we told him about Fifty Shades and we chatted about Twilight fan fiction. And I asked him about Lucy's and how long that, and every, and everything like that. And it was it was lovely and it was fantastic just to hear see Peter talk. Peter was really kind and sweet and generous to us. And he gave me and Fiona a quick hug before he went inside. And oh, <laughs> God, Pete, there's nothing quite like Peter Facinelli hugs. Let me tell you that much. Um, I would want to start. I I just think. You know, everything was pretty amazing. Um, this blog is going to be massively long now because I've been talking for ages. Um, but, okay, so we we did that and we had our own wonderful experience with Peter, with the, the Abbey Road pose, which will always, for us, be Birmingham Road. It was amazing. Um, I will probably put the pictures, 
the picture of Peter and us on Birmingham Road in another blog. I, I, I might actually add, add it to the end of this blog so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so that was just incredible and then Saturday actually no I I will have the picture here so here's the picture that we did um so that's the picture that was pretty cool um And then, okay, so on Saturday night, it was the prom night, and we got dressed up in our robes and... Uh, robes? We're not the Volturi, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we, got, we, got, <laughs> we got dressed up in our nice dresses, and we headed down to the prom, which was lovely. It was really nice, it was a good... Um, the hall wasn't decorated, there was a lovely little candle lit like little light sort of entrance thing but apart from that it wasn't that wasn't that well decorated but that didn't matter um it was just enjoyable it was just it was a fun night um there are other bits of peter i'm missing because before that before we went in fiona was at, fiona was out having a cigarette with peter <laughs> before so we were out there before just before we went to get changed um, to go to the prom because they'd had their gold drinks reception with Peter and the other guests and Peter just asked us so where are you guys going next <laughs> um, and we told him we were going to the prom and he said oh that's nice he said he'd try and make he said he was going to turn up for a few minutes which actually was really amazing to us because he was so tired and we thought he should get some sleep but he wanted to turn up to meet his fans and just be part of it and I thought that was incredible so it was lovely to talk to him outside he's so lovely and he has these intense eyes wow anyway getting back to the to Saturday night so we were in there so we were in there having fun and then Peter came in um, and it was fantastic because we because Peter and I uh, not Peter Peter and all of us <laughs> He, he got on the dance floor and he actually danced with me and Fiona and everyone else. I mean, he danced with me. He, I, I could hardly believe it, but I was on the dance floor just dancing and then Peter came up beside me and he was just going like that. And I was like, oh my God, I am dancing with Peter Facinelli. God, this is like not happening to me. Seriously. Um, I wish there'd been a photo but of me and Peter dancing, but there wasn't because you weren't really supposed to take photos there. And this is something that me and quite a lot of other people have got flack for and it's not fair and I don't think people should be a... well I've said what I need to say really about that on my tumblr um, I'm not happy with certain things that did happen that weekend especially with people other people because people be were some people have, have been very abusive towards people that managed to get a photo with Peter at the the prom um, you weren't supposed to, but Peter Peter didn't mind, and Stuart wasn't that bothered. He let us have one. He said no more after that because obviously other, otherwise everyone else would want one. But me, Fiona, and Rachel actually got one as well. So we we all had some really lovely photos. Again, I'll probably I'll add those my photo with Peter at the end of this blog because it was amazing. It's a bit blurry, but. Um, we we're all quite not drunk, but it's quite hard to take a photo when you know people are dancing and sort of stuff in there. Um, but it was it was fantastic, and I'm really grateful for Peter. I'm really thankful and grateful that Peter actually let let me do that with him. So thank you, Peter. Um, watching Peter dance to "I'm Sexy and I Know It" is hilarious. Was hilarious, <laughs> fantastic, really, really good. Um. We watched him do that, and then we walked out of the room to um, to see other guests because we we walked out there just and we bumped into Jill and his girlfriend actually, which was pretty cool. It was really nice talking to them, um, and we just we just had fun that night. It was it was really 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 fun. So 
I enjoyed it, and I'm sure Fiona and Fiona enjoyed it. Everyone enjoyed it. It was such a good night. I got wasted yet again, so Sunday was not going to be great because I was obviously going to be hungover once more after like two days of alcohol abuse. Yeah, I was going to be a bit hungover. Um, so <laughs> there are things that happen on Saturday night early in the uh, early hours of Saturday morning, which. I'm really embarrassed about actually and I kind of wish I hadn't done it. Um, I'm not going to confess to what I said but I snogged this randomer. He came out and he, he and I just you know I was so drunk and I just I snogged him and I said some things which I kind of don't want to repeat here but I said some things to him which I'm really really embarrassed about. Oh dear. I don't even know why I made out with him because he wasn't that attractive. I was just that drunk, so. But at the the main the the end of the day, I had fun, um. So I, I can't really regret anything that happened. <laughs> um. Okay. So it was Sunday. So we're going on to talk about Sunday now. Um. Sunday was fantastic. Um. Because you know, I had a full Peter Facinelli day. <laughs> I had his photo shoot at like half nine. And then I had his signing at 11 and then there was a talk with him and I managed to get a guest encounter with him on Sunday afternoon. So woohoo! Um, his photo shoots were amazing. Um, I, when you go, he, the poor, again, Peter was really, really tired and really jet lagged. And, re and he's, he said, he actually said yesterday on Saturday that his eyes felt like he was, they were bleeding. And I just, in some ways, I feel I felt really bad that he made. This, he was so tired and so jet lagged, but I felt really bad for him. But at the same time, I was so appreciative that he came over to see his European fans. He didn't have to because God, he had such a busy schedule, but he did, and it's it's something that I'll never forget, and I'll always be really thankful to him. Thank you so much, Peter, from the bottom of my heart, because you just made the best effort you could. You were fantastic, really, and don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. So yes, Peter, Peter wore a hat and sunglasses on Sunday, which looked amazing, and this wonderful jumper, which is so snuggly. Or was that just Peter? <laughs> um, but bless him, he 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 had to keep his sunglasses on because he was really, really, his eyes were so sort of. He was so tired and his eyes were hurting, so of course he had to. Some people didn't really understand that and were a bit... Well, I don't want to say what people were saying about that because it's really unfair and it's just disgusting, so I won't go in f any further into that. But bless it, I, I love my photos with Peter and I love that he wore his hat and sunglasses because he looks so cool. He looks amazing in it. And Peter actually joked like later on in the talk that these... The hat and, he doesn't usually wear the hat and sunglasses um because he usually had he does he usually just has his like he doesn't do that normally so these are these photos can be collector's items <laughs> bless him oh he's so sweet but anyway here's my um photo shoots with peter i'll just find them this one here um bless him he is so so cuddly i love him to bits he is just amazing so, and then the next one, I think I prefer this one, I don't know, um, but it, it is to, he is just awesome. Um, and this is the one with me and Fiona and Peter, and I love this one, this one's amazing. Uh, he, he's, this one was great because he talked to us and said, "So I heard uh, he said, so did you guys stay up last late last night? Implying did we abuse yet? Did we did we have fun last night again?" <laughs> we were like, "Yeah." <laughs> Bless you. He was so lovely to us. He was really well. Pete was really amazing. To be fair, um, I can't really describe how amazing he is. I keep gushing, but he is the best person I have ever met celebrity wise he and generally he's one of the best people I've ever met so if you if you do one day get the chance to meet Peter do it because he is fantastic 
Um, the signings. Uh, so we had the photo shoots, which were fantastic, and I felt I felt bad for Peter, but I loved his I love his commitment for it. Um, and then we had the signings. Um, Peter's queue was huge, and the poor guy was told that he couldn't personalise any more um, any more pictures for signing because they were running out of time. I'm just going to move this over because the sun's getting in. Um, he couldn't pitch. He couldn't. Um, he couldn't personalise any more sign any more signings because they were running out of time, which I thought was a bit shit because I don't think because Peter didn't. Peter didn't like that. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to be a signing machine. And um, I could understand why they were running out of time in that. And so, you know, I, I don't blame Peter or, like, the showmaster's crew at all. But, you know, for Peter to have to sit there and just sign, he didn't want to do that. And I, I know a lot of fans are disappoint, disappointed about it. But, you know, at the end of the day, I was just happy to see him. Happy to be there and have something signed. So I... Would, I was not going to complain about that and bless Peter he didn't have to but he pers I was in the queue quite late um, so that was when after they'd stopped personalising but Peter saw my shirt and he said oh, I love this shirt he said this, he said I love this shirt um, and he signed it he did a lovely love heart on it <laughs> and he actually personalised it for me he actually got his character, Bobby. <laughs> he signed it as Bobby, um, which is his character in Lucy's, which is where that picture comes from. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, Bobby there. Um, and that was just... That was amazing. Um, really fantastic. Um, I've actually got no words for that. And he was so kind and he loved it. He was like, oh. He really loved it, and I could have just hugged him to death. Um, so yeah, that the signing was amazing. Um, so I was one of the very few that was lucky. Peter was a bit naughty <laughs> uh, that got some that got something personalised, and I might get hate mail for this. And I didn't ask him to; he did it, and I love him for it. Um, and okay, so on Sunday afternoon, I had a guest encounter with Peter Facinelli. Facinelli, I won a guest encounter with him, which was just incredible. <laughs> oh, bless! Peter was amazing. Got in there, sat down, we had coffee, and Peter was um, he he looked at my shirt and goes, "Who's on your shirt?" And I I looked down because like <laughs> and I said, "You already know." And Peter and his security card laughed. Stuart laughed. <laughs> Um, so I asked him first question about Lucy's and he was pleased, really pleased that um, somebody could, that somebody was asking him about his work again and it, I really loved um, how he, he, he talked about that which was pretty good. He was really, it was really interesting about how they used like small crews to go down, small film crews to go down like the subway and everything like that. Um, and then he talked about other things, he talked about how he might have got a part as, he um, got a, Vin, uh, a part in, uh, in Entourage for Vincent the character of Vincent um, and he turned it down because the script was vulgar um, and obviously he wouldn't have been able to do Twilight or anything like that if he'd taken that part so you know I don't watch Entourage so I don't really it's not my kind of show and I, I'm i personally glad that he didn't do, take that one because I would have I, I love him as Carlisle and I, I'm just and if it's not right for him he shouldn't take that role um, he talked about this this uh, the dance off scene at the end of Breaking Dawn, which he thinks might be on the DVD, um, which would be really really cool, um, and I think that would be amazing. <laughs> um, and also he talks about a number of things, and it was just he's so interesting to listen to, and it was just a pleasure being in that room with him. He's so lovely. Um, he's just amazing. Um, he was so tired again and uh, it's just a credit to him that he did the guest encounter because in a way I feel like, you know, they could have let him have some rest then, you know. I feel that he, sh he deserved to have a light rest and then just go off to go back to the airport. But they did do, he did do the guest encounter and that's just, that's really incredible. So Peter, thank you so much for that again. That means so much to us. Um, and that's pretty much... 
And then we said goodbye to Peter outside the Hilton Hotel, me and Fiona, which was lovely. I mean, I came, um, I came and said to him, I came out, he came out, he was signing things as he walked out the door. I think he's got, ba his bag's got stuck in the hotel revolving door. Um, so, uh, which was, which was, which was, you know, <sighs> I felt bad for him because he's been harassed again, harassed in a way. Um, but he didn't seem to mind. He and bless him, he's so dedicated, so dedicated. He's so lovely. <laughs> I keep saying this and I keep saying bless him, but he was amazing. So deal with it, okay? Um, and I just said to him, "Bye, Peter," and he put he pulled me over for a hug. I didn't ask him to hug me. He just hugged me. <sighs> heaven and he hugged Fiona and bless him he he spent time with Fiona's children as well and you know to see that was just the most amazing thing um it, it moved me in so many different ways um he is without doubt the most generous kindest person you'll ever meet so <sighs> that's pretty much it that's pretty much my story um I'd probably do, I could probably do a better blog, one that tells you everything, but it would be hard to without getting excited about it. Um, so I'm just going to sign off on this blog now and I'll probably add some, uh, add the photos in that I didn't include, um, in the, in the film, in the shot. So, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching this mad fan girl blog blog about ETA and my amazing experience. <laughs> See you next, until next time people.